Hello everybody, Andrew Majewski here with Dental L. So let's talk about the dental hygiene portfolio. Have you been audited for 2020? I have. I was audited once before in 2014, so this is nothing new to me. But the good news is the portfolio has gotten, in my opinion, a lot less stressful. Whereas before you had to write, you know, I don't want to sound like I'm complaining, but you had to write your typical day. You had to write step by step everything that you do from seating the patient to instrumentation to bringing the patient out front to how you do the instruments where now it's a checklist so things are just a lot easier but still there's a lot that you have to do for the portfolio and if you're not organized like 99.9% .9 of you aren't which is okay I'm not the most organized person either but you might be wondering where do I start where do I start with this whole portfolio thing Oh my goodness, I am so overwhelmed. There are some amazing um, courses out there that, that you can actually go to them in person and they will help you do your whole portfolio over the entire weekend, which is awesome though. So then you can get it all done, bring all of your papers and there you go, right? But I'm not here to talk about having the portfolio done over the weekend. I'm talking about having your portfolio done in 30 days, okay? So 30 days um, is less um, stressful to me in the summertime, my weekends are fully booked. So I kind of prefer to do a little bit at a time, a little bit every week, not even a little bit every night because things happen, things get in the way. I might be too tired after work one night and then feel guilty for not working on it. So in my course, um, the portfolio um, workshop, I teach you guys and show you guys online step by step how to do everything in 30 days. Okay, so I give you guys kind of little homework assignments. Um, so then that way you don't have to look at your portfolio online and go, okay, I have nothing. I don't know where to start. Please help me. Okay, so the first thing, so the first thing actually, and I, I had just um, talked to everybody um, tonight is the homework that I, I want them all to do. So you too, if you're watching this, is to go to um, the website, um, vivalearning.com. They are fantastic. There's free webinars, everybody. Free webinars. It's awesome. And they are high quality webinars. I listen to them and I learn so much. I get so inspired. I'm that person where I love to attend convention. I love to listen to courses. I am a dental nerd all the way. I could talk about dental all day long. Seriously, I am such a nerd that way. Um, thankfully, I'm in the right profession, right? Um, they have free courses. So just a little tip for, um, for you that if you're stuck, you do not know where to start because you might be saying, I have no goal topics. I have no courses done, maybe the odd course over the past three years, but where do I, how do I put all, all, all that together? I have no idea. I can help you guys inside the portfolio um, workshop. I will leave the link for you guys on the bottom. I go step by step with you. You have a full year to access everything. So even if you don't want to get your portfolio done in 30 days, because we obviously still have time, it's July the, the uh, 29th today. So depending on when you're, of course, watching this, um, depending on how much time you have left, but you, as of now, you have a lot of time. So you don't have to get it done in 30 days, but you might want to, but you have a full um, year's access. And one of the best things I think about the course is, it's a lot of work for me, but I don't mind, is you can, once you're done, your portfolio, send it to me and I look at every little topic you have, every learning activity, everything you have in there and I and I um I let you know if it's passable. I can't promise of course because obviously I'm not with the CDHO, I'm not on the committee, but I do talk to somebody on the committee who gives me advice. No name is mentioned. So I can help you. So after you go through everything, you might be thinking, okay, is this good enough to submit? I don't know. Send it my way. You do not have to pay anything extra for that. If you're um, a member inside the course, so it is something that I do offer for my um, members only, you can send it to me and I, I usually send you back like a page or two of detailed notes on things that I might feel you should improve on, things that are perfect, things that you really need to, to you know, change. So I will let you know all of that because I did my portfolio back in 20, uh, 2014, I believe. I, I learned a lot. I've been teaching in the portfolio workshop actually 
for you for you for your years i don't even know how long it's been i'd say about five years or so so i have seen portfolios come back i have seen the ones that pass right away i have i have seen the ones that don't pass so i know what to look for so that's kind of nice right so your kind of first homework assignment which i was um, telling everybody inside the course is to go to that website um vivalearning.com just get comfortable with the website. They have so many free webinars on there. So even if you have no idea where to start, start there and just listen to two or three webinars on topics that interest you. And that's how you start making your first goal statement. So let's say you watch two webinars on, um, I've been talking about this a lot lately, um, chlorhexidine. Okay, so let's just say you were watching the webinars on that. Okay, so you have learned a lot about chlorhexidine. Now, how are you going to put that in, into a goal statement? Well, what was exciting for you about that course? And honestly, what did you actually learn from that course? Your goal statement wouldn't be um, you want to learn more about how chlorhexidine heals the gum tissues for perio, you know, because that's too basic, that's too simple. They know, you know, for a perio patient, you need to do more chlorhexidine. But, you know, think outside the box. Think, okay, I had learned that if you're using um, a chlorhexidine um, um, varnish, it doesn't have the same negative side effects as a chlorhexidine um, rinse. There is no staining, there is no taste alteration. Um, that's impressive. I personally did not know that. So my goal statement might be, I want to learn more about chlorhexidine varnish and its clinical use in dentistry, you know, something like that, right? Um, but then as soon as you take those um, webinars, don't just leave it at that. Go to um, pubmed.com, which I do teach you guys how to do that inside the course, and do some searches on chlorhexidine. Read articles on chlorhexidine, um, the chlorhexidine rinse plus the chlorhexidine um, varnish as well. So you're kind of tying everything all together because there's nothing worse than having a goal statement, having a learning activity, and that's it. Moving on to the next goal statement. They will send that portfolio back. You will have to do it again. I'm telling you, I've seen it. So have a goal statement, like a good solid one, have several different learning activities. So not only online webinars, but also um, reading articles, reading your textbook, um, looking at different magazines. You know, we have the oral health magazine, we have the CDHA magazine, you know, we have all kinds, right? Look into all of that. We have um, uh, the fact sheets on CDHA. There's just so much there look into all of that and i teach you guys how to do that inside the portfolio workshop so are you excited yet kind of i don't know i'm excited but i'm a nerd this is why i have decided to do the portfolio because i love learning about this stuff anyway and the port um the portfolio is free you have to pay to take the quality um assurance exam when i have to pay for something when i don't really have to i don't do it <laughs> i know it sounds silly but it's so true right um oh plus that actually just made me think of something i took um the drug uh certificate uh certification certification i don't think that's how you say it the drug certificate exam um before we had to pay for it because when they told us that it was free i didn't think too much of it but then they said, as of this date, you will have to pay 200 and something dollars. I'm like, heck no. So I took the course, I took the test right away. I passed, I didn't have to pay for that. So that I can also use for my portfolio too, right? Any courses you take, you can use for your portfolio. Thank you guys for listening. Let me know if you need help. I will leave the portfolio link for you guys on the bottom. It should not be stressful. I will teach you guys how to do it all in 30 days. If you want to take longer, that's okay too. There is, there is nothing wrong with that, but it will, it will give you a good starting off point to get organized. I'm excited. So let's work on this together. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.